Okay, so just as an addendum to the last stream, I have figured out how to actually generate the uh, outline, the correct shape, without it getting pinched in places. I had to go out into GIMP to do it. So what I did was I, well, let's invert, I'm sorry, hold on, invert this selection real quick, because this is the piece we got that we want. It's done. I'm just showing you how I did it. So we just want to invert selection real quick. So we get these, and then we control D like before. We uh, create a union of it. And then we want to copy that out, go into GIMP. As you can see, we have it pasted here. We have it done here already. It's not capital. All right, hold on. Copy. Uh, paste. Okay, so we'd have to go new. Okay. So actually, let's just close this real quick. Discard changes. Now paste. Okay, there we go. So we got the shape in. We need to make the canvas a little bigger so we have space to work with. So let's just do that real quick. And then shift it over about halfway. It doesn't have to be exact. Just needs to give us enough wiggle room to work with. Okay, here's layers. So we want to go here. Yeah, we want to change the layer boundary size uh, to Layered image size, there we go. That's what I did. We want to select the magic wand tool, knock out these things, select that, and then grow selection here. Because the grow selection algorithm in GIMP actually gives you a shape that's proportionate when you're working around a, uh, in a regular shape as opposed to in Inkscape where when you scale proportionately it's kind of messy for some reason. You know, it gets pinched in places. It would get pinched around here and around here, all these little... But when you do this, perfect outline. You see consistent thickness. So then you just uh, delete, fill, Control X or Control C, who cares? Same difference at this point because you're not going to save anyway. You pop it in here. I said you pop it in here. Oh, because I closed GIMP. Well, anyway. You would pop it in here. But it's gone, so let's see. Let's go back in the middle and see if we can get it to come back up. There is no image data in the Yeah, because I closed GIMP prematurely. Well, if I hadn't closed GIMP, we would have had... I can undo to the point I was at. We have this image here. And you would just go uh, trace bitmap... I'm not going to actually. Yeah, I. Yeah, so I, I was at the point where I only had the outline made of the other shapes. This is the union that I first made. Then I imported the bitmap from GIMP. I used the align tools here to align it with this one, and then I. Went here, path, uh, you know, I went over here, dropped it down below, you'll see, oh no, I didn't uh, align it with this yet, hold on, so, okay, there we go, now it's vertically aligned, I had undone half the alignment, okay. Then you can delete this, 
now you have your outline, but it's this is still a bitmap now. It's not a SVG. So you want to trace bitmap. OK. And delete. And now you have a proper shape. And you'll know it's a proper shape because we can go into fill and stroke here. It did I delete the wrong one? Hold on. Trace bitmap. Oh, after you trace bitmap, it changes your selection to the one you just created. So then you have to drop it down below the bit the uh, raster image. Now I'm selecting the raster image. Delete the raster image. Now I have a vector image. And it is an even, consistent outline around all the circles, allowing the shaper to, once we figure out what the offset has to be to get it right, we could do that on the shaper itself. Right now we have the design we need. So we could just feed it to the shape that we have. Eh. Wait. Uh oh. Oh, that's right, because there's, yeah. Both of these are pocketed. Yeah, so we got all these little pieces to cut out. Wonderful. And the outline, of course. It's just uh, close without saving. And go back in. To our project folder. And expose the icon on the desktop. Load it back up, and it should be made for Inkscape. And there we go. So we got our design back in. We can technically delete that because that's the three. I feel like deleting them all now just to see what it'll look like. Because this is roughly what it's going to look like. This can show us what the project will look like when it's done. Something like that. Pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I have to point this way to point up, up at the screen. Yeah. In the little box I'm in in the corner, I, I gotta look like this. And pretend that my second monitor isn't over here. But it's done. It's ready. Cutting it out Thursday.